What's going on guys? Uh, this is just a little video update on my 46 gallon bow front that I upgraded from the previous video, which was a 20 long tank. From then, to the net, from then to now, I've had quite a few different changes, had a couple of corals. Obviously I had to add a lot more rock. Um, I don't know if it was when I moved my tank or if I've always had them, but my nitrates never really tested them after I finished the nitrogen cycle. Uh, my nitrates were uh, between five and 10 PPM. Um, the only reason I really paid attention to it is because this uh, unknown SPS started out really nice, bright, and green. One little uh, one little stick, and then from there it became this little mini colony. But it just browned out, and I never really paid attention over time. And then one day I just looked at it, and I was like, oh, wow, it's, it's brown, not green anymore. Which led me to test my nitrates, which, like I said, they were between 5 and 10. I started vodka dosing. Um, on the Reef magazine, I read up on it. It was 0.1 millimeter. 225 gallons and this tank with my sump down below I have a total of about 46 or sorry 50 gallons of water so I did the first day which was on August 30th was 0.2 mil and then uh, 0.2 mil for the next two or three days and then uh, the next week is when I tested my nitrates and they were at zero I just tested them right now and as you can see from vodka dosing um, right now I'm not vodka I'm not dosing at all being that I have no no need for it because my nitrates are undetectable and this is my phosphates and I know it's an API test kit and people kind of frown upon it but I've had luck with it can't really tell um, my pH don't really test for it don't I know you should test for it but I test it every once in a while Calcium was at 440. My KH always stays between 9 and 10. Um, right now I'm manually dosing the BRS2 part, which is 25 mil of each. But here's a couple shots of my tank from last time. Um, that right there, my torch coral has two heads. Um, now it's in the process of splitting two more heads, so I'll have a total of four. Um, it's getting real close to that tub stellata, I believe is what it's called. And as you can tell right there. It burned it up a little bit. Then I have my monopora, which I tried grafting, but I did a fairly poor job at it. Got a Reef Tech Starburst Monty. My Candy King Corals, which in my other tank, this GSP was touching it. So if you can kind of see, there's three little heads there that are dying. It was from that. Some other ones, my anemones. Actually, one off note I was reading up on that. Vodka dosing is that if you do vodka dose you should keep your parameters at natural seawater my cage like I said between 9 and 10 um, they said that you can burn SPS tips which I didn't notice any burn tips but I had a nice plate coral um, it's not a money of some various type of SPS I'm not too sure what it was called and it completely died out which I believe has to do with vodka dosing I'm um, not too sure but that's the only thing I changed in my tank and that's when it started to go my anemones, I have 23 of them now. I had two clownfish, one of them decided to jump out. Um, went floor surfing, so kind of where that's at in that situation. Picked up a couple other shrooms. This digitata here, it used to be that whole thing, but like I said, I had it up here and my torch coral touched it quite a few times when I was at work, didn't pay attention and basically half of it died, but it would make a comeback. Tank's a little dirty. Some nice A cans. I did get some. My plate coral, it's always pooping. I don't know why. Hammer coral has three heads. Um, here's another, I believe it's a Spongotus, which was a frag off of this one here. And I have a Mystic Sunset Mani. Camera's real crappy. See if you can even. Uh, pick up any of the tank oh I, I did pick up some coral frenzy uh, 0.5 reef pellets I used to use reef roids I'm going to 
feed that a can right there um maybe daily maybe every other day with this coral frenzy and in a month see how much growth i have see if it's better than the reefroids let me know what you guys think if you have any questions